Hello, this recording will explain to trainees how to log into the CA Diary and also provide some information on the CA Diary dashboard. So the starting point is to access charteredaccountants.ie. Uh, once you've gone there, you would select the login page. The login page will then bring you to input your user ID and your password. If you have any issues with these, use the hyperlinks below to resolve. Select login. Then a number of options will be presented to you. Select student center. On the next page, you will see a link to the CA diary. Please note that this option won't be available to you unless you have a registered and approved training contract or you have an approved flexible route registration. Select CA Diary to bring you to your CA Diary dashboard. On the CA Diary dashboard, there uh, is a lot of dynamic information specific to yourself. In this case, the trainee is on a training contract and to find out some information about that, I'm going to select the history of profile information. So the start and end dates of the contract along with the training organisation are there. Please uh, take note of that information uh, because it is required when you're recording your first C8 ID entry, which always starts at the commencement of a training contract period. Information is provided on the assigned mentor. Please note again, you won't be able to submit a diary entry until you have an assigned mentor. So if you don't have one, please speak to your training organization. Now, as we move down through the screen, you will see that there are various sections. This one, mandatory core competencies. These all have to be demonstrated at the integrate level by the end of the training contract. And they're split into groups, business environment, financial reporting, professional values, personal and interpersonal skills. Within each of the groups, you'll see the uh, elements of the groups of competencies, which you will be selecting when you're recording diary entries. Additionally, we have area of experience. So if you're working, for example, in auditing, uh, you will find that your competencies uh, are listed here. Each time you have a competency approved under uh, the mandatory group by your mentor, there will be a green bar showing up on the screen to indicate so. Similarly, depending on which of the technical areas that you've demonstrated in, and you must demonstrate in a minimum of one of these, um, a blue uh, bar will indicate that the competency, competency element has been attained um, based on approval of diary entries by your mentor. By the end of your training, as I say, you will have uh, succeeded in completing Integrate for all your core competencies and Integrate Learning Level for um, at least one of the technical areas. Information on those learning levels is provided at the bottom of the screen and is also available in the Guide to Professional Development Requirements document. A summary of your uh, regulated experience in a practice environment which is only specific to trainees who are gaining audit experience is available here. So if you are working in audit engagements and you're recording audit days, that's converted to weeks and is populated on the screen under the relevant categories, the relevant jurisdictions. This information has no impact whatsoever on admission to membership requirements, but it is used as part of the eligibility requirements for um, any members who wish to avail of the audit qualification. Required experience does apply to all trainees, and in this case, the trainee has a three and a half year training contract. So the 682 days is the target number of days. That's working days, excluding all leave, excluding weekends. And a cumulative total of the days will display here again, based on locked CA diary entries. This trainee has no locked experience, therefore 
these are all showing as blank. Trainees who have recorded overtime, again, a cumulative total would be displayed here. And at the end of your training, any overtime worked figure will be added to the figure recorded in here and the required experience towards this figure. So the two figures will be added because uh, overtime counts for that, those purposes. Any leave that's been denoted, again, will be shown uh, through the cumulative totals in the out of office section. There is a progress summary at the bottom, which indicates the number of diary entries uh, that are in progress, submitted for review or locked. In this case, there is one entry uh, in progress for this trainee. The mentor review uh, tally will show, and by the end of your training, you will have uh, a minimum of five six monthly mentor reviews. So, uh, just to come back up to the top uh, of the page, there are options uh, such as create a new diary entry, and that will be covered off in a separate recording, modify an existing diary entry. Similarly, I'll go through that in another recording. You also have the option to request a six monthly review. So, that's done in conjunction with submitting a bank of diary entries to your mentor, and that is simply done by selecting. Uh, would you like to uh, request a review? If you do, then click yes on the on-screen message. Only one request can be submitted at any time, uh, and your mentor has to uh, complete that request uh, before you can request a further one. Although your mentor can record more than one review at any given time, and that will be covered in mentor guidance. For all trainees, we do recommend that you generate a CA diary report through this option. Please take note of the, uh, the message at the top regarding uh, pop-up blockers, because if you don't um, have those disabled, you won't be able to generate the PDF report. If they are disabled, click Generate a CA diary report, which is a very, very useful document uh, for your, uh, you know, for your uh, information and for your mentor's information, and that contains all relevant uh, information uh, pertaining to your CA diary record. View mentor review. Now, you have an option to re uh, look at the mentor reviews through this section. Again, the PDF report will contain uh, all information, including mentor reviews and the feedback your mentor's given you, so you may choose to use that option. CA Diary Guidelines. Um, in this option, we do recommend all trainees review all experience before commencing. And if you click on that, it loads the CA Diary resources web page. So all our PDF guidance documentation and access to all on-screen recordings uh, are available through there. And just for your information, there is an access for mentor recordings as well. So that concludes this short recording on accessing the CA Diary and some of the features available therein.